Hello, my name is Kay Mullard and I work as a freelance artist and tutor. I work in Worcestershire and I have qualifications. I have a PGCE in further adult education. So I largely teach art. So I teach a variety of subjects in art, including painting, drawing, acrylic painting, watercolours and life drawing. I can also teach pottery and I have some incredible craft skills and I can use recycled materials to make all sorts of wonderful things such as headdresses which I made at the children's play school with some wonderful children. I teach all sorts of age ranges. I teach children, I teach teenagers and adults and I also work with more vulnerable groups such people such as people with dementia or with a learning disability or even with a mental health problem. I often take inspiration from other artists to teach the techniques that I use. So I use artists such as Monet, Van Gogh, Frida Kahlo and Georgia O'Keeffe and I teach through their art styles, I teach different art techniques. And today we're going to have a look at wet and wet techniques like Turner would have used. For this project, you're going to need pots of water, paint brushes, watercolour paints, a piece of watercolour paper, a board, a palette and some tape. And very firstly, we're going to start by taping down our paper to our board. This is so that when we wet it for our wet and wet technique the paper doesn't all wrinkle up so it's nice and stretched on our board so all the way around the edges for the tape. Make sure and this also creates a nice frame so where you overlap the masking tape it will create a nice professional looking frame at the edge of your watercolour. So to do wet and wet technique you start with Nice clean clear water, hold your board at a slight angle and just take the water from side to side on the paper. So when you do this you'll notice that your paper gets nice and shiny and this is what you want, you want the paper to be shiny all over. So just hold it up to the light and make sure your paper is nice and shiny. You can do it another time if you like and just have a look, quick look and check. Once we've got done that, put the board nice and flat and we're going to mix up some colours really quickly. So we want, I'm going to put a blue wash in the background here and then drop some nice bright yellow and red into it just so that you can see how this technique works. So plenty of water to add to this to make it nice and runny. Then I'm going to use this big brush for this. And then I'm going to move on. I'm going to put out some red paint and some yellow paint. I'm also going to add water to these two colours. So again plenty of water, make these in, into washes so that they're going to run onto the paper and we're going to see in a minute what sort of effects this is going to create. This is a really lovely free flowing technique, you're never quite sure what you're going to get you can kind of plan it, so you can plan out. So when you're doing watercolours, you need to plan out what paints you're going to use. So if you were doing a lovely Turner-esque sky, you would mix up some lovely different greys and shades of brown. This is really just a tester, just to show you what this looks like. Now I'm going to paint this lovely wash now, this blue wash, all over. So I'm going to go from one side to the other and back again. Now because we're doing wet and wet, I'm not thinking that I'm going to get a nice flat wash here. I am going to get some areas with a bit less paint and some with a bit more paint. That's fine. Wet and wet is not as even and it is a bit more about just happy accidents and how it happens. Then I'm going to splot in just some of these brighter colours just to show you. So you can see already that the paint is taken along by the water and taken into different areas and it just spreads out and it will just keep spreading wherever you've got water running and this is just such a lovely technique very free and it can create backgrounds for things you can start your watercolors this way if i lift it up and turn it around the paints start to merge and mix together so you can create other lovely effects or you can just leave it flat to dry it's entirely up to you what you do with this technique it's a fabulous technique and really fun to have a go at. I hope you enjoy it.